similar hardships right now, what to bring to Thanksgiving dinner, which presents we need to buy for Christmas, and of course, where will we get the money for all of that? But one little East Texas girl has faced much greater challenges her entire life. She proves it's not such a challenge when you face it with a smile. Abby Eden has her story. Running, a passion some may not have expected from Ryan Carr. This six and a half year old was born in Kazakhstan with no legs and one arm, but almost immediately she had an abundance of love. Katrina and Mike Carr first adopted Nicholas and Hayden from Kazakhstan. Then they met Ryan via video and knew this was their daughter. <laughs> but two other families thought the same thing. Those both fell through, and they fell through because she was meant to be with us. <laughs> Yay, good job. And she was meant to do some extraordinary things. Ryan's family got involved with the Challenged Athletes Foundation, where they found out she's quite the runner. She's won 11 gold medals. She's been running all over the country. And it's due in large part to this foundation that she wants to do more. That they've been helping me do the things that I want to do. Now what Ryan wants to do goes beyond running. It includes basketball, hand cycling, swimming, and giving back to kids like her little sister, Rena, also born without one leg. A supergirl like the one she admires, she wants to hand cycle across the country. To raise money to help other people um, get better and um, help them do what they want to do. We don't have any doubt that if that's in her heart already, that, that she could do that and anything else she puts her mind to. In preparation, Ryan practices. I practice um, outside running. But I get there, my legs get very tired. And answers questions from people who meet her. I was born that way and I said, um, can we get on with this? And, and um, um, then um, we just start to be friends. All the while smiling. Because I'm so happy. Where she goes from here could be anywhere. There's just nothing that she's not going to be able to accomplish. But she knows it's because of her family support that her new legs will carry her to those places she still hasn't gone. Thank you for taking me all the places I want to go. Abby Eden, KETK, NBC.com. And thank you for inspiring us. Ryan and her family are in Dallas tonight because Ryan needs to have surgery on her legs. If you would like to know more about the foundations Ryan is involved in, like Challenged Athletes, just head to our website. It's KETKNBC.com. We'll have it all there for you. Well,